Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the University of Portsmouth graduation ceremony. Before the ceremony begins, we would like to share with you some of our students' achievements. Please enjoy our short Alumni Association video. At the time that I was at Portsmouth, I think it helped me realise my ambition. I came in a normal working class girl from Reading. I think I found my voice when I was at Portsmouth. Excited. Nervous. Relief. Adventurous. My very first day at Portsmouth, there was a mixture of trepidation. I was moving away from home for the first time. It was quite daunting. I hadn't been in a place with that many people, but then that soon flipped around because you realise everyone else is more scared than you are. My fondest memories of my time at Portsmouth have been the friendships that I've made and also just being inspired in the lectures. It was so exciting to be at uni and be straight away in like a live broadcast environment and that first initial memory has sort of sparked something that hopefully I'll continue for the rest of my life. It's definitely made me a confident young lady that can go forward now and I wouldn't really hesitate to take on anything in life. The emotion I felt when I was sitting in graduation hall was something surreal. It was the end result of a lot of hard work. I can remember all of those days sat down thinking, I don't understand what I'm writing about here, or I don't know how to reference. Thinking back to how far I'd come along the whole journey, and then handing that piece in, and then receiving the results, it was a very special moment. It's been an amazing experience. If I could do it all again, I would. What excites me the most for the future is that I can be Part of what I was thinking of being when I was studying university, actually make those bridges and those buildings and say that I've done this and feel quite great for it. Since I graduated from Portsmouth, I haven't been able to keep away. I've kept in touch with the alumni team. I've done some volunteering with them, so I've been back a couple of times to Facebook Lives, so I've hosted some events. The careers and employability, they went above and beyond. And to know that they were there for five years after I finished university helped with the pressure of the real world. I benefited from the postgraduate scholarship and I think that has been amazing in terms of making it easier and less stressful to go and do a master. It isn't the end of your journey in Portsmouth. Portsmouth will always be here for you and as an alumni, there is so much more to offer. I am incredibly proud to always be part of Portsmouth. It is part of my soul. It's part of who I am today. It's made me who I am today and to be able to go back and keep giving back is great.
This is an important day in the life of the university, a day to celebrate the success of our graduates. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this ceremony and to formally declare this congregation of the university open. Please be seated. Pro Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen and graduates, it is a great privilege to welcome you to our university and to our city for this great event. In particular, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to our graduating students and colleagues from one of our international partner colleges, the Management Development Institute of Singapore. We are delighted to have you with us. Graduation is a special time for our students, for their families and their friends. And for those of us who work at the university, it is a point in the year when we get to celebrate all of the wonderful successes and achievements that our graduating students have had. For our graduating students, today marks an important point in the journey of your lives. After today, many of you will go straight into the careers you have been studying for and aspiring to. Some of you may still be thinking about what you would really like to do. Some of you will be off on some adventure, possibly to travel or to live abroad. And some of you, we know, will carry on studying here at Portsmouth or perhaps elsewhere. For most of you, today is the last day with us having achieved what you set out to achieve when you arrived here some years ago. Since you have been with us, there have been many challenges. Whilst you will all have faced your own personal challenges, together we had to deal with the pandemic. I know I speak on behalf of all of my colleagues when I say that we have been amazed and overwhelmed by how each and every one of you did your part during the pandemic to keep everyone safe while continuing to work hard and creatively through those very difficult times. Because you have overcome so many challenges to be here today, it gives me immense pleasure to be able to personally and be on, on behalf of my colleagues at the university congratulate you all on your well-earned achievement. We are immensely proud of you all. Today is also a very special day for your family and friends, some of whom are here with you. Family and friends will have seen you grow and go off to university, in many cases moving away from home for the first time. Now they are here with you to celebrate the end of one stage of your journey and the start of another. And this is a very important moment in their lives too. They will have no doubt supported you, worried about you, inspired you, encouraged you, been a shoulder to cry on and a listening ear. Parents, partners, children, wider family and friends are a vital support network for successful students. So I would like to invite our graduates, if you're able to, to please stand up, turn to your guests or indeed to each other and with a rapturous round of applause, please join me in thanking your family and friends. Do please stand and find your family. As I said, graduation is also a very special time for my colleagues, who over the last several years will have seen you grow intellectually, socially, emotionally, and perhaps most importantly for us, creatively. I know the great part that they have played in your growth and development, and the great commitment with which they endeavoured to overcome the many challenges of the pandemic. I hope you'll join me in thanking them for all of their work. I hope that as soon to be graduates of the University of Portsmouth, you are confident that you are graduating from a university that is recognized as part of the modern global elite of universities, tackling the real challenges of the 21st century. We have the best rating, TEF Gold, for our teaching. We have more academic staff producing more world-class research than ever before. And our, recent, our research and innovation is helping to make the world a better place. This year, the Faculty of Creative and Cultural Industries completed a £7 million 
Capital Investment and New Centre for Creative and, and Immersive Extended Reality. And in the seven yearly national audit of university research, the majority of our colleagues' work was judged to be world leading and internationally excellent. Once again, colleagues and students from the School of Film, Media and Communication have undertaken a number of live projects with partners. Film and television production students have worked directly with external clients to produce films for organisations such as Making Waves Film Festival, the Salvation Army and the Portsmouth Naval Trust. Graduating students Rui Kialis, James Wollstonecraft, Adam Perry and Julie Marakova worked with their tutors John Carlo and Dylan Pank to present the Level 6 Film and Media Studies Final Year film screening in partnership with Number 6 Cinema. They planned, marketed and delivered a hugely enjoyable showcase of final year projects from both last year and this year to an audience of well over 150 people. It really was a great showcase for their professionalism uh, and, and, and skill. Back in May, our students and colleagues contributed once again to the hugely successful Portsmouth Comic Con held here at the Portsmouth Guildhall. Students past and present featured as experts on panels covering topics ranging from Doctor Who to the Marvel Cinematic Universe to anime and to the witch in popular culture. Our students filmed and interviewed artists at the event and worked with the Guildhall on marketing and promotion. Last month, students were studying BA television production successfully broadcast a live stream featuring Warhorse author Michael Morpurgo. Michael read his com commissioned Diamond Jubilee story at the event, which was hosted by Portsmouth City Library and was present, uh, presented to 250 school children, teachers and Portsmouth City Council staff and was watched by approximately 7,000 other pupils and teachers due to the live stream. These are all fantastic achievements. We plan, however, to do more. The university has a vision that by 2030, we will be the top modern university nationally and one of the top 100 young universities globally. We hope that as we realize our vision, we will make you even more proud of your association with us. So while today marks a significant milestone in your lives, we hope it just means a change in our, a lifelong relationship with you. Do please stay in touch with us. Let your teachers and friends here at the university know what you're up to and make great use of our excellent alumni association. Across the world, there are difficult challenges and it can be easy to be pessimistic or feel anxious. But days like today are a reason for great optimism. When I look at today's graduates, I see passionate, highly skilled people, full of ideas, ready and prepared to reshape our world. Seeing you all today is a very welcome reminder that whatever difficulties we face, our future is in good hands, and I hope you feel that too. You will be the future leaders, thinkers, creators, and innovators that this country, and indeed the world, desperately needs. And when you are successful, as I am sure you will be, do please know the very great pride that your university will take in your success and achievements. Finally, I urge you to live by the values of your university in all that you do. Be responsible, be open, be ambitious, and never settle for second best. I congratulate you on your awards and wish you every success for your futures. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the formal part of the ceremony and I invite the Pro Vice-Chancellor and Academic Registrar to make the formal declarations after which the students will process. They will be congratulated first by Professor Jeremy Howells, Pro Vice-Chancellor of Research, Innovation and External Relations, and then myself as the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Creative and Cultural Industries. Before that, however, and while we are getting students ready for their procession, we have prepared a short film of congratulations from colleagues across the university. It is my sincere pleasure to bring you warm wishes and congratulations on your graduation. Massive congratulations from me to you on completing your degree and becoming a 2022 graduate of the University of Portsmouth. You have achieved something extraordinary.
and the university is very proud of you and your classmates, the class of 22. Congratulations from the My Poor and Happy Girl team. Whee! Wishing you all the best for your graduation today and for your future careers. Well done. On behalf of all of us in CCI, a massive congratulations to all of the 2022 students. We wish you the best for your future. Congratulations from CCI. We look forward to seeing you move forward with many more wonderful achievements and milestones in your life ahead. We are committed to supporting you into the future and being part of your onward journey. You're now part of a global family of more than 250,000 Portsmouth alumni. I'm privileged to be a part of it too. I still remember the sense of pride and happiness from my mum and dad seeing me walk across the stage of the Guildhall. Congratulations to all of you. Well done for your achievements. You should be proud of yourself. Congratulations to everybody and all the best for your futures. Congratulations from everyone at the chaplaincy team. Take time to celebrate all you've achieved, the memories you've gathered, the friends you've made, and the person that you've become. My advice to you is to acknowledge the voices in your head, be attuned to the feelings in your heart, but always, always trust your gut. You've got this. I thank you for trusting those precious years to the University of Portsmouth and wish you all the very best for the many exciting things that life will offer you in the future. It is all about you and celebrating with your friends and family. And remember, you will always be part of Portsmouth. Congratulations on your graduation. Pro Vice Chancellor, as Deputy Academic Registrar, I certify that all those presented at this ceremony have successfully completed their studies and have satisfied all conditions and requirements of the university. By the authority of the university, I confirm that all those that are duly qualified are hereby admitted to the awards for which they are presented. Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidate from the School of Art, Design and Performance. With the award of a Master of Research in Design Practice, or Oren Miscav. Pro Vice Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of students from the School of Art, Design and Performance. Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you the following successful candidates from the School of Film, Media and Communication. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Creative Writing, Luke Annex. Joyce Badibanga. <laughs> Megan Bagioni Taylor. <laughs> Shanae Best. <laughs> Jude Cowden. Jessica D. Lord. <laughs> Jennifer Donald. <laughs> Eve Hutton. <laughs> Emily McConnell.
Katie Nichols. <laughs> Lucy Nother. <laughs> Gabriella Nouvet Arouaz. <laughs> Caitlin Pegg. with the London Magazine Internship Prize. Sophie Quinlan. <laughs> Thomas Quincy. <laughs> Ken Tempest Rowe. with the London Magazine Publication Prize, Morgan Turner. <laughs> Alice Warner. <laughs> Luke Anderson. <laughs> Hannah Buckley. With the London Magazine Internship Prize, Iona Derno. <laughs> Daniel Fall. <laughs> With the London Magazine Publication Prize, Ellie Lockhart. Elise Morrison. With the London Magazine Internship Prize, Liam Perez. And with the London Magazine Internship Prize, Jocasta Perry. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Film Industries, Adam Bahiri. <laughs> Alice Betterton. <laughs> Holly Faulkner. With the Film Industries Student Award, Aisha Fox. <laughs> Antonio Hernandez Dominguez. <laughs> With the Film Studies Dissertation Prize, Keris Hopkins. Zachary Jarrett. <laughs> With the number six cinema prize for film, Julia Marakova. <laughs> Hannah Share. <laughs> Jonah Scott. Kahila Sinclair. <laughs> Tom Stacy. <laughs> Evan Stanley. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Film Industries and Creative Writing, Jasmine Cox. <laughs> Hannah Gear. <laughs> Miles Hanmore. <laughs> Anna, 
Andrea Carlu. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Film Industries and Creative Writing, Joshua Proudlock. <laughs> Alex Shembri. <laughs> George Selman. Lisa Van Hayes. With the Creative Writing Student Award, Beverly Wombalaba. Jack Watson. William Rag. for the award of Bachelor of Arts in Film Production. Raphael Aminobi. Aminobi. <laughs> Mohammed Ben Yahya. <laughs> Dylan Burgeon Ward. George Blackwell. <laughs> With the Film Production Student Award for Best Colour Grading in a Short Film, Jojo Bossman. <laughs> Bailey Braund. Fatima Bu Karbal. <laughs> Joseph Burbage. <laughs> Laura Chevalier. <laughs> Andreas Christofferu. Rafiq Clark. <laughs> Anna Collins. <laughs> Madison Collins. With the Rain Dance Award for Best Short Film, Andrew Croft. <laughs> Joseph Cullis. <laughs> Sean Custodio. With the Rain Dance Award for Best Short Film, Stuart Davis. <laughs> Skylar de Souza. <laughs> Nicole Georgieva Dimitriova. <laughs> Robbie Down. <laughs> Joshua Eaton Griffin. <laughs> Gregory Edwards. <laughs> Aaron Eyre.
Nicholas Forbes. Maximilian Fortune. Amber Fretton. James Gilbert. Matilda Gilbert Halliday. Chloe Golden. With the Rain Dance Award for Best Short Film, Best Colour Grading in a Short Film, and Best Cinematography in a Short Film, Robert Grooms. Sophie Hamilton. With the Rain Dance Award for Best Short Film, Emmeline Heather. Joel Heron. Jessica Hine. Zoe Ip. <laughs> Neve Kavanagh. <laughs> Michael Kelly. <laughs> Benjamin King. With the Outpost Pinewood Studios Best Edited Short Film Drama, Jacob King. <laughs> Charlie Knight. <laughs> Sam Lewis Burns. Joseph Limbert. With the Sennheiser UK Award for Best Audio in the Short Film, Chea Luxford. <laughs> Bree Mahoney. Benjamin Morgan. <laughs> Matthew Mossman. <laughs> With the Rain Dance Award for Best Short Film, Nicholas Moisey. Curtis Marant. Nathan Nash. Kai Oleg. Lauren Parker. Sam Parker. With the Barbara Maschin Award for Best Script in a Short Film, Leonie Percival. Medea Popper. Daniel Ray. <laughs> A. 
Ethan Ramsey. Daniel Regnard. Dylan Reed. William Rollinson. <laughs> Ella Salt. <laughs> Lorna Shons Rudge. <laughs> Camille Slomsky. Emma Spencer Jones, with the Adam Knopf Award for Best Production Management in a Short Film, Finn Staples, Christopher Thompson. Rupert Thorpe. With the Rain Dance Award for Best Short Film, Owen Tripp. <laughs> Dana Evgenieva Tvetkova. Gareth Wallace. <laughs> Ethan Ward. <laughs> Joanna Magdalena Batroba. <laughs> Ronan Williams. the award of Bachelor of Arts in Journalism with the Journalism Student Award, Jasmine Carey. <laughs> Helena Carnell. <laughs> Bethany Carpenter. Anna Kazan. <laughs> Louisa Clark. <laughs> Georgia Crown. <laughs> Connor Dent. Joseph Doherty. <laughs> Emma Draper. <laughs> Lucy Beth Gafour. <laughs> With the Briscoe PR Prize, Sophie Gibbons. Freya Huntingdon. <laughs> Sophie Lewis. <laughs> Lucy Martin. <laughs> With the award for the best journalism special investigation, Natasha Mashembo.
Max Masters. <laughs> Stephen McShane. <laughs> Georgia Olly. <laughs> Joshua Robbins. Jack Sandu. Emma Spicer. With the Bob Norris Award for Achievement, Craig Tilly. With the award for the best journalism special investigation, Daisy Waits. <laughs> for the award of Bachelor of Arts in Journalism with Media Studies, Chelsea Avery. <laughs> Christabel Nana Adams. Julia Alvarez Garcia. <laughs> Lucy Bailey. <laughs> Joshua Cook. <laughs> Neha Dakal. Ellie Falloon. <laughs> Quajo from Pong Manso. <laughs> Sophia Karim. <laughs> Kieran Liversish. Benjamin Manning. <laughs> Thomas Mahari. <laughs> Rebecca Miles. <laughs> Francesca Phillips. With the award for the best dissertation in journalism, Jessica Stibitz. Brandon Turner. Rika Veres. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Media and Digital Practice, Louis Andrews Haywood. <laughs> Yogesh Barber. <laughs> With the Media and Digital Practice Student Award, Edward Blinko. Daniel Buckley. <laughs> Beth Carty Gable. <laughs> Rui Cialis. <laughs> Barbara Costa. Abigail Edgar.
Erica Elias. Zion Ephraim. Jessica Fitzpatrick. Christina Ilieva. Tiharu Kazahara. Jacob Marek. Imogen McAllister Hewlings. Ginny Prouse. Holly Reed. Oliver Rymel. Jessica Smith. Alishka Stefanova. Pablo Villar Gonzalez. James Wollstonecroft. Zachariah Zulu. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Media Studies, Dima Al Sali. Fatima Al Sulati. Harvey Bromley. Caitlin Bunyan. Abigail Butcher. Kennedy Coelho. Lewis Denning. Harry Dowsett. With the Media Studies Best International Student Award, Salma Elgaro. Theodora Christova. <laughs> Mohammed Wail Mohammed Kandil. <laughs> Francis Kenner. Grace Keating. <laughs> Chun Ho Lam. <laughs> Natasha Lawrence. <laughs> Bolan Lee. Lee Ziki. <laughs> Razan Malkawi. <laughs> Pat
Paige McAllister. <laughs> Liam McBride. <laughs> Paris Moore. The Media Studies Recognition Award, Harrison Myring. With the Media Studies Best Dissertation Award, Shanice Rank. Mia Robinson. Natalie Smith. <laughs> Kritisha Tharpa. <laughs> Henry Twig. Sydney Ward. <laughs> With the Portsmouth Comic Con Prize for Media, Tamara Werry. <laughs> Shia Shan. Wen Yi Sheng. For the award of Bachelor of Science in Television and Broadcasting, with the Sky Television Award for Broadcasting, James Barham. With the Sky Broadcast Award for Best Television Production, Amelia DeVito. Freya Gibson. Jemima Greenwood. Rosalind Holmes. Callum Hutton. Lucy Jacob. Josephine Jolly. Thomas Kemble. <laughs> Benjamin Marget. <laughs> Renee McLawrence Wigan. Nathan Parkman. With the Sky Broadcast Award for Best Television Production, Alana Pedro. Georgia Pontin. Isabel Scott. <laughs> Luca Warner. <laughs> With 
the Television and Broadcasting Students Award and with the AVID Award for Post-Production Excellence, Catriona Watkins. Jordan Woodman. For the award of Bachelor of Arts in Television Production, Andrea Abea. Matthew Marsh. For the award of Master of Arts in Creative Writing, Paul Beresford. <laughs> Rachel Birchley. <laughs> For the award of Master of Arts in Media and Communication, Kashif Ali. Faisal Allotman. <laughs> Phoebe Bertram. <laughs> With the MA Media and Communication Student Award, Callum Gervin. Sundesh Khan. <laughs> Pali Shah. <laughs> Katie Wilkins. For the award of Master of Science in Creative Technologies, Liam Prince. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science in Risk, Crisis and Resilience Management, Michael Waguba. The award of Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Yair Garfunkel Misgav. <laughs> For the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Film, Media and Communication, Thailand from Within and Without, the Exoticization, Misrepresentation and Reclamation of the imagery of Thailand and its people, Andrew Russell. <laughs> For the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Film, Media and Communication, Media Regulation in Democratic Africa, the case of Botswana, Leshwiti Tutwani. <laughs> Pro Vice Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of students from the School of Film, Media and Communication. Vice Chancellor, I present to you Isabel Scott to respond to the university on behalf of the graduates.
Vice Chancellor, honoured guests, honoured guests. As I stand up here today, looking out to all of your smiling faces, a word dances around my head. Wonderful. We all entered the adventure of university with excitement, dreams, anticipation, and even nerves. These feelings were all whizzing around our heads as the time to our starting date got closer and closer. Little did we know, these feelings were nothing compared to the feeling of wonder I would like to think we all feel after having been a part of the university. We are all leaving this university as wonderful people with such talent, knowledge, skills, and of course, smiles. The next word that comes to my mind is resilience. When starting this adventure, we were all completely unaware of the detour our journey would be made to take, <coughs> preventing us from going to in-person lectures, socialising and even completing our usual exams. We used our immense strength, courage and bravery to find our way, adjust to the new path of our adventure and make it out very successfully. This chapter is one of the most memorable parts of our story of life. For some, this is the first, but for others, it is chapters in. This book represents our story so far, and the rest of it is for sure one to read. With our successes, accomplishments, and high level of talent, our dreams can now start to become our realities. Everyone, please take a look around the room, left and right, forwards and backwards. These faces, familiar or not, are the ones who have been present the whole duration of our time spent at the university. They have been the ones whose smiles, hellos in the lecture halls, hugs, laughs, words of encouragement and joy have got us to where we are today. They're the ones who have helped to make this adventure as special as it is. So please soak in the one thing that unifies us all, togetherness. As someone once said, we'll race through every open door, find everything we're hoping for as long as we're together. Which is why being in this room, Surrounded by all of your faces, it is a feeling we'll remember for the rest of our lives. So as graduates, let's all say a big thank you to all of the people who have made this possible. To all members of staff at the University of Portsmouth, thank you for all of your advice and your guidance, for making university fun, and for being there for our students when we needed you the most. And lastly, thank you to all of the emotional guests I can see smiling back at us, and to all of the people watching online. I hope we made you proud. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. <laughs> the class of 20. <laughs>
please share your stories of your next steps. We love to hear about the great things our graduates are doing as it inspires the next generation. Now, as you enter the next phase of your lifelong journey of learning, you will face constant changes. There will be many highs, but there will also be bumps in the road. The socio-political environment we find ourselves in today may be bringing some anxiety. The outbreak of war in the Ukraine, rising inflation and the cost of living are all real challenges that we face. This environment, combined with the constant arrival of new technological developments, innovations and changes in ways of working, means that we find ourselves living constantly in what psychologists call the learning dip. During the period when you are learning something new, your performance will naturally dip. But over time, as you get more experience, your performance rises again. The issue for all of us, however, is that we're constantly having to learn new things as the world is changing so quickly. Hence, we are constantly being plunged into the dip, which can trigger fear and worry. Worry that we will initially not be totally competent and that we'll get ourselves into trouble as a result. This naturally affects our confidence. So, when this happens, I want you to remember something for me. Whenever you feel like you can't, I want you to turn that thought into, I can't yet. Because you will be able to do it, whatever it is. With the right support, encouragement and perseverance, you can and you will achieve. You have so much to offer. We believe in you. I believe in you. The university will be there to support you and be your cheerleaders. You're now part of a global family of more than 250,000 Portsmouth alumni. I'm privileged to be a part of it too. Make the most of the wonderful connections, networks and mentoring that this community opens up. You will have times ahead where you are not sure about what the right decision is. What is the right thing to do? My advice to you is to acknowledge the voices in your head, be attuned to the feelings in your heart, but always, always trust your gut. You've got this. Now, one last thing, and it's important. Please take the time to look up from your screens and look around you. Really look. You can change the world by starting with the world immediately around you. You have the ability to make it a much, much better place. I genuinely believe that every single one of us has a superpower inside us. Find it, nurture it and use it. That is an amazing gift and please use it wisely. I'm really relying on you to do this. But right now, however, it's all about you and celebrating with your friends and family. Enjoy, you deserve it. And remember, you will always be part of Portsmouth. Congratulations in graduating in 2022. I want to add my congratulations to all of those of you who've graduated today and to all of those who've supported them uh, through their studies at university. Thank you. I now declare this congregation closed. Please be upstanding for the academic procession. Mm -hmm.